Aphrodisiacs, it's me Khadija. So in today's video, I partnered up with Her Given Hair to do something a little bit different. So I'm really excited to get into all the tips for today's video on mastering a wash and go on coily hair. So here I'm just showing you all Her Given Hair's packaging. And then they also sent over a pamphlet with a lot of helpful information about installing your unit and how to care for it. And we have an extra elastic band as well as some clips. So the wig that I'm going to be using to demonstrate how to master a wash and go on coily hair is Her Given Hair's Proud of Your Coily Unit. It is in a coily texture and the length is 14 inches. It's a beautiful thick coily wig that has a bang so we're just going to get right into all of these tips. First things first, you want to make sure that your hair is clean and you definitely want to use a sulfate free moisturizing shampoo. Now a lot of shampoos claim to be moisturizing and hydrating but you have to find one that actually is very moisturizing and doesn't leave your hair stripped. So I love this natural club cleansing avocado shampoo. Secondly, you want to deep condition with a heavy or rich deep conditioner. I'm using Shea Moisture Super Fruit Complex Mask. Just make sure that if you're using a thick deep conditioner that your hair responds really well to it, that your hair is moisturized and it's soft. Now I'm just taking my modified dimming brush to detangle the unit and also to distribute the product further. You can use a brush, a comb, or even your fingers, whichever one works best. After that, I'm just going to place the wig in a plastic cap and deep condition for 15 minutes. If you feel like your hair needs more moisture, then definitely go for 30. So after those 15 minutes are up, I'm just going to turn the water on and rinse out all of that deep conditioner. I personally don't think that it's necessary to leave any deep conditioner in your hair because you're going to follow up with the leave-in conditioner when you move on to styling. So just rinse all of that deep conditioner out and do a last rinse with cool water if you have normal or high porosity hair. If you have low porosity hair, then try rinsing with warm water water last. So now we're moving on to styling. In step three, you always want to follow up with a creamy leave-in conditioner after you have washed your hair. A leave-in conditioner is pretty much like the foundation, so it kind of sets the tone for your style. You definitely want to make sure that it's super moisturizing. All of the products that I'm using on the wig will be listed down below, by the way. After that is step four and we're gonna detangle. I'm using the Denman brush again just to work all of the product through, but you can use a comb or you can use your fingers. I feel like the best time to detangle when you're styling is after you've applied your leave-in conditioner because you don't have too much products layered on your hair yet. After that, I'm going to move on to step five and layer on a thick, heavy moisturizing cream. If you have coily hair, chances are your hair is dry, so applying a thick, heavy moisturizing cream is going to work great for adding some additional moisture on top of that leave-in conditioner. After applying my moisturizing cream, I'm going to move on to step six and just seal in all the moisture with an oil. I'm using extra virgin olive oil, but you can try avocado or grapeseed oil. When you seal with an oil, you have a higher chance of your hair staying moisturized for longer. And also, not to mention, it adds a ton of shine to your hair. Next, after sealing, I'm going to move on to step number seven and set the curls with a mousse or a gel. I used the mousse, which worked perfectly fine for the swash and go. I was really happy with the results. But you can use a gel instead if you like a stronger hold. Now, if you have coily hair and you're doing a wash and go, you definitely want for your coils to pop as much as possible. So what you can do is move on to step eight and create mini sections and define your curls using a Denman brush. So I'm just taking mini sections and going over them with my Denman brush, using it as a curl defining tool. So this is what the coily unit looks like after I finish styling and all of the curls have been moisturized and defined really nicely. You can see that the curls look really amazing with the combination of products plus the technique and I did get a bit more shedding with this wig. So this is the next day. The hair is about, I would say, 80% dry. So I did pull out my blow dryer to use on the wig once I applied it onto my head. So here I have the wig cap on. I applied the wig and I started using the blow dryer to not only finish drying the hair, but to also give the hair some stretch. So if you have coily hair, chances are you're going to have a lot of shrinkage when you do a wash and go. So you could definitely follow step nine and stretch your hair with a blow dryer and the diffuser attachment. My diffuser attachment actually broke, so I didn't have that you guys can see my blow dryer is like worn out i've had it for years i really need a new one but this works well to just pull the hair taut stretch it out and you'll get some more length so this is a really cool tip if you have a lot of shrinkage mm -hmm. 
After stretching the coils out and getting a bit more elongation, I'm going to follow up with step 10 and just pick the hair for some volume and to add the finishing touches. Now, as you guys can see, this unit does have a full front bang, but I wasn't really liking how it was looking on me. I didn't feel like it framed my face. So I just pinned the bangs back for right now and applied some MAC Milan Skin Finish in the shade Dark Golden to the part. And then I took out one side of the bang and I felt like this framed my face a lot better and just looked more you know me so I was pretty much happy with the results after this this is how I mastered the wash and go on coily hair I hope that you guys found these tips really helpful and apply them when you do your next wash and go so if you guys are interested in her given hair definitely check the description box down below please like comment share and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one bye guys